Now this, I fear, will chug into the frames. We're just waiting for everything to get hooked up so I can start working on the next part of this freaking aquifer. Shut up. I love it when the rings come. <laughs> Cody, no more reward requests after February. I did see that. He's he probably got he probably got a lot of support and didn't realize they had a lot of rewards to do. <laughs> For those of you who are new, see this is a thing. I need to change that script. For those of you who are new, Bear Grylls did do the dwarf command, but he already has a dwarf, so it whispered the reply to him. I intended to do it that way so it wouldn't like bog down chat and people who are mostly lurkers wouldn't have to feel self-conscious about doing it. But I've slowly become aware of the fact that this basically means people think the script isn't working if you weren't the guy that got replied to. So that's gonna get changed in the future. <laughs> he did type in the command. The command did do something. Don't worry. However, Bear Grylls is in fact dead so the command lied to him. We occasionally, in this particular base, have some people that die without me noticing. We have a vampire and all that. So sometimes I miss the the dwarf kill command. All right. <laughs> you are not successful. <laughs> oh no, sorry. I don't know how long you've been dead for, but you're dead, dude. Yeah, both, bo both your bears ha ha have been killed. And I definitely didn't just kill them to force you to redo the command so I can prove to everyone that the script does things. <laughs> uh, yeah, you died. I don't even know what killed you. I'm gonna tell you the truth. We occasionally do get attacked by like a forgotten beast or a titan. So you might have died to one of them. But we also have a vampire in the base somewhere, and that is the far more likely option. How big am I doing these? Eight? Eight. too far. It's a four, not a three. Let that get dug. Dead bears. What kind of base are you running? Get the vamps out. Well, see, the thing is, it's a Triforce. And we're using the mystical power of the Triforce to contain the evil. That that that's what I'm going with. That that, that is what we're doing. We are a Triforce base near the evil biome that rains elven blood. And we, we happen we just happen to have a vampire. We don't know who it is. Uh we suspect that I did know way back when, and then I let the dude out and I didn't really know who it was. Like I just happened to accidentally catch him. So now he just occasionally goes on murder sprees and kills a bunch of dwarves. And then he'll disappear for months on end again. And then come back and murder a bunch of dwarves. It's really annoying. Um, we don't know who or where he is. Doom, doom. 
But yes, uh, so we are currently having kangaroos on our base. Wild kangaroos, because why wouldn't you? We are currently building the Triforce up into a triangular prism of Triforces. And then we're going to put another tri, tri a triangular prism on top of that. So we will have a three-dimensional Triforce. That'll be a Triforce from all three sides, as opposed to just us directly looking down. And the inverse space in the middle of the Triforce, between the three forces of Tri, uh, we are slowly going through an aquifer to dig down into the cavern below. And in the southeastern corner, we took the Triforce of Wisdom, and we split that into a Triforce for our tavern, temple, and library. North, the Triforce, I think, of power? I don't know. Uh, is for sleepy, and southwest corners, everyone's working, which would be west of wisdom, power, and courage. Which is why we're sitting here doing such an obnoxious way to get through the aquifer, as opposed to just one little hole, which we have pierced. This is why we know it's in the cavern below us. We have pierced the aquifer, but we need like this entire thing to be a hole through the aquifer. So we're going to be, we're slowly doing the outer perimeter. Once the outer perimeter is sealed, we can just channel out all the water in the middle or all the squares in the, in the middle and then handle the water at, at that point. And then once that water is gone, we'll be able to work on the, that's right, next layer of the aquifer because this aquifer is two layers deep. Because why, why be happy when you can just hate yourself? <laughs> Just slowly but surely decide, you know what? No. You can though. You in fact can do this. I'm telling you, when we get when the the update gets lazy new packed, you I mean people are saying let's let's stick with this for a bit just because we put so much effort into it. And I agree with them, I agree with that sentiment. But when we do get to the point where we go onto a new base, whenever it happens, the fact that aquifers aren't gonna be quite so brutal is gonna be amazing. And I'm also gonna have to like come up with like actual like sector-based designs. Because guilds will be able to, or are going to want their own guild halls in, 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 in the new version of Dwarf Fortress. The guilds want their own guild halls and shit. So we're going to have to set up like little actual, this is the smithing area, this is the masonry area, this is the weaving area. We're going to have to actually separate them out so that they can have their own little guild halls and be happy and do the little guild freaking things. And then it might be useful at that point for me to not just have 80 effing haulers. If we have people doing weaving and then secondary weaving, by the way, all that fighting is because the cavern layer down below is also partly in the undead area. So there are corpses killing each other and the living creatures down there. And that ends that mandate. I wasn't even paying attention to that mandate. What is your mandate? I'm not gonna give you anything. Shut the fuck up. What was I talking about? The mandate interrupted me. Oh yeah, guild halls. Um, it'll be in our best interest to actually make people be weavers and whatever, even if they're not doing it, because they can fulfill the I did something thought process by watching like a guild demonstration about how to do it. So the next base that we end up doing is going to have a lot more specialized dwarves as opposed to what we've been doing. I'd have to go with like some weird human city build or something. Build construction wall. Two. 
How does this look so far in Armok? Does this look like sensible? Or have I already messed it up? It's really hard to like look at something in 2D and then try to like extrapolate in your head if you're doing it right in 3D. Mainly I'm talking about the inverse of this curve as it goes up because we want it to look like each of the brown pyramids are pyramids, which by the way, they're not going to look brown is being made out of different wood. So it's all going to look fucking stupid until we replace it with a gold that's down below. Assuming we're able to. Um. Oh, that's the freaking stop. See, inverting looking good. I guess it looking like a pyramid. One, two, one, and then there'd be two. So yeah, that's how the pyramid looks. Shut up. One, two, one, one, two. All right. All right, that is looking better than I thought it would. I don't want to leave feedback. I want to exit this. You were supposed to have been windowed. Hold on, it said there were people here. How come I always seem to miss these merchants coming in? Trader requested. How are we doing on drinks? All right, why are we needs leaves? I don't understand. You should have plenty if you're brewing them. No raspberry bush seeds, no rope reed seeds. Why? Well, it's because I don't see any raspberries. What happened to all the raspberries? Did you? You're not supposed to cook the seeds. What did you do? Pigtail. We're not doing pigtail. Oh no. Did we cook all the seeds? No, 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 no. I needed rope reed to... Oh, fuck me. We cooked them all. You stupid, dumb bastards. Rope reeds can't be cooked. Anyways, so they just haven't been turned in the clothing. I can ignore that. We lost raspberries. Which annoys me. What do I have for seeds? I have strawberry. Looks like we're about to start doing strawberry. Um, is merchant here? Can I trade? I can. All four items. Just take them. I don't even want to look. There we go. Where's my water? Hold on. Green screen even on? 
Now that I have snuck past their ever-present guard, I will sneak attack from the other side. <laughs> Do I have green screen off? I didn't think about that till halfway through, but green screen's not even on. <laughs> Damn it, they found me. How could I have seen through our technology? Don't forget, a little bit of malic acid makes the drugs go down. I meant that more for medicine. <laughs> I meant that more, more related to medicine. Freaking Mary Poppins, not whatever, we're not whatever you dirty people are thinking of. All right. So, how goes the aquifer? Fantastic. We'll never have put those two together, it wouldn't have worked. Trying to think there's like a way to go back through, cut a line and like just free up a ton of space. Ultimately it just wouldn't be, wouldn't have a point. Just be wasting time to waste time. The whole thing's gonna get removed at the end anyways. Ugh. 100% natural spring water. I don't trust your 100% natural spring waterness. Now I mix it with 100% natural malic acid. It's not that organic crap. It's just acid, like it's... USA made! We made this acid in America. All right, get rid of all that. So anyways, we discussed mine. What are you, what are, g give me your nostalgia trips. G g give me your freaking your animes or your shows or whatever. G give me your fantastic ones that, I mean, you, you can go with popular, popular ones too, but that you haven't heard of since way back when. Share with the world that weird show that you saw way back when and seemed good, but for some reason no one ever believed you. Like Halloween. Oh my God. Halloween vacation. I think I actually tracked down this, sh this once before. The actor's called Chevy Chase, right? What's his name? In Vacation Movie? National Lampoon's Vacation. Hold on. Oh, I spelled that one very wrong. So the dude who's in Vacation did like a Halloween Vacation movie. Like there's a third movie, I think made by some other people that I saw when I was a kid. And now it doesn't exist and people think I'm crazy. Cowboy Bebop, heavy metal. Elven blood, I like it. Uh, heavy metal, what's heavy metal? Cowboy Bebop I recognize.
Is this the movie I was thinking of? Oh, welcome to stream TikToks. Hold on, I apologize. I've now like fucking... Is this the movie I'm thinking of? Is it Modern Problems? I swear to God, I tried describing this movie so many times way back when and everyone thought I was crazy. God, I, I love, the, love the power of the internet when I can find shit afterwards. I think this is it. Yeah, it's got Chevy Chase in it. The dude's, dude's fucking psychic and he makes people bleed and shit. I saw that movie in Halloween one year and I tried describing this movie and everyone told me I was crazy. I'm going to forget about this again in, the, in a little bit, but I have now since tracked it down, proven I am not crazy. <laughs> now I can't remember who the fuck I have to prove I'm not crazy to. Um, TikToks. Hold on. You got dwarfed at number 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. TikToks, you are one of our farmers. So we can blame you when our, se when our seeds go missing. So the movie I was thinking of is called Modern Problems. It was made, it was, it was in 1981. I guess I had seen some freaking remake of it because I was definitely nowhere close to 1981. Um... But, uh, well, see, now I've lost it. Hold on. I, I always described it as the, the, the vacation movie, but it, it was more like, it was more like a freaking horror movie. It's a Halloween version and it was modern problems and it starred Chevy Chase, comedy, fantasy, sci-fi. And the dude gets dumped by his girlfriend and then comes in contact with nuclear waste, which gives him telekinesis. So then he goes on a comedic adventure of revenge, basically using telekinesis to do shit. Like he, uh, some dude, he like, he puts wine in his mouth and he starts spitting it out and it makes this dude's nose just start erupting with blood. But way back when, I don't know how many years ago, I tried to describe that movie to someone and I said Chevy Chase was in a movie like Vacation, but it was more for like Halloween, though admittedly it was kind of because I had watched it around Halloween and I said he's psychic in it and he makes people bleed and whoever it was I was talking to was like that movie doesn't exist. You dreamt that up. I could have dreamt it up because Wikipedia agrees with me and if Wikipedia agrees with me, that means I'm right. Totally a real movie. Well, we just found it. I just found it live. It's totally a real movie. It is not a Mandela effect. I didn't think I remembered something and it wasn't real. I thought I remembered something and it was real. No Mandela's here. How you been, TikToks, BT dubs? Let's give you a shout out. I need to get these on my stream deck again. Choco talks. TikToks, you've been hearing about uh about the diseases, the diseases in in the Massachusetts. TikToks has been recently doing RimWorld, a game rather similar to Dwarf Fortress, but some would say with some critical differences. Still doesn't mean you're not crazy. It means I'm not crazy now. It means for the purposes of this conversation, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Um, what is in here? Why do we dump some items here? Unfortunately, D&D thing didn't work out, but we will get more players eventually. This is true. Um, couple things. One, TikToks, are you tracking the Wuhan virus in Massachusetts? And two, are you tracking the proximity of, this one isn't college quotes this time. Um, I was trying to do like an actual alien thing. Are you tracking the proximity of Pax East. I am not. Are we going to die? All right. Are you tracking anything about Wuhan? So I, I, I know sometimes uh, events, anything else is dead. 
Oh no, to chew. This one? To chew. Oh no. All the sadness for to chew. No, um. Catch the Kung Flu, yes, probably. You are not tracking the virus at all. Oh. If you're not tracking it all, then we're going to have to go back to the beginning. And I'm going to sound like I'm a conspiracy theorist with how much information is basically true. Uh, and yet sounds like so much nonsense. All right. So. Starting from scratch. There is there was a or is a fish market in Wuhan, China. Or the fish market was called Wuhan. It's the Wuhan fish market. It was in China. At the Wuhan fish market, you ate anything that moved. They had all kinds of creatures there for you to eat. Moles, cats, rats, dogs, the weird celicat thing that caused SARS, turtles, snakes, anything if it was to be edible or if even somebody somewhere thinks it's edible, it was sold at this place. And a new SARS-like virus came out of it. A coronavirus, which is the type of virus that SARS was, uh, c came out of this because of the very low, uh, what's it called, cleanliness. The, the very low sanitation there, coupled with the fact of very close proximity to animals. So it was basically like what happened to cause you know, any epidemic, really. Anytime shit, I'm lightly tracking past Pax East. Okay, but onto the virus. It started spreading in December. People started having issues with the Wuhan virus, but China arrested anyone who said that there was a virus there because China said they were trying to cause problems and they were going to interrupt the New Year's celebrations. You know, like the mayor did in Jaws. Celebrations comes first, saving people comes second. So now, Q2, end of January, I uh, jumped into January, and all of a sudden it went from, okay, maybe there's a virus, but it can't spread, don't worry about it. And in like two days, it afflicted like over 11 countries, over a couple hundred people, and oh yeah, BT dubs, it might in fact jump between people. And then the next day it was, oh, it jumps between people extremely fucking fast. Dear God, we're all gonna get infected. But don't worry, we have it contained. We've only put 50 million people in quarantine. That's right, five zero. But we swear it's not major. You can't get angry at us. It's a very, very small thing. And then a bunch of Chinese people started breaking the quarantine and it's spreading around the world as people keep breaking the quarantine and entering other areas to spread their sickness. It has about a two week incubation period and depending upon how you evaluate it, because I, I want to I address this correctly, I don't want to be accused of fear mongering. Depending upon how you evaluate it, it either only has about a one or 2% lethality rate or it has a 50, 50% lethality rate, depending upon how you do the math. One or two or 50, somewhere in there. So recently, as in earlier today, um, a dude who recently went to China, went to Wuhan, got sick, covered up that he was sick so he could come back to Massachusetts and then as soon as he got off the plane in Boston, went straight to a hospital and was like, oh, BT dubs, I've got the Wuhan virus. Take care of me, please, before I die. But didn't tell the airline or anyone else because he wanted to get back into the United States and get treated here. So fuck everyone else on the plane with him, I guess. And now they're having to track down everyone who got off at Massachusetts and everyone who took a connecting flight to elsewhere in the country. So this one dude wanting to guarantee he got treated in America has now possibly broken the quarantine and infected who knows how many states in America. 50 to be careful. Well, no, there, there's a reason why I say 50. It's not an exaggeration. The argument against 50 is that of the amount of people who have caught the virus, only one or 2% of people have died. That's the one or 2% lethality rate. That's, that's the chill thing. However, 
the people who you could argue are fear mongering, but their math is a thing you could draw from is that, however, all of those people are still infected. They're not cured. As of right now, the people who are cured, i.e. they're done with the virus, and the people who are dead is 50-50. So it either has a 2% lethality rate or a 50% lethality rate, depending upon where you want to argue the number. You could also say that 50 is slightly high because most of those people didn't get treatment until way late because most of them didn't know they were sick because China didn't want to tell anybody that there was a virus. Yeah, mostly the people who died were people who were extremely old or extremely young, people who had compromised immune systems. You know, it goes for the weak, so to speak. But if you want to talk about the math, it's 50-50. <laughs> Oh no, he had it. He straight had it. The dude, the dude had it and knew he had it. But if he pointed out he had it, he would have been quarantined and treated in China. So he hid that he had it to get to America so he could immediately go to the nearest hospital and say, BT dubs, I have the Wuhan virus, please treat me. Cause he wanted American treatment. So he hid that he was sick until he got all the way into America infecting everyone else on a plane possibly. And now he's getting treatment. See, glory fire. That was my point of the conversation way early when I first talked about this. Um, the way, no, no. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen to him, if anything. But if I was in any position to be able to lay judgment on someone, if anybody in the entire chain of infections that comes from this dude dies, I would charge that man with like the grossest intentional like murder, not manslaughter. No, I'm sorry. I would treat that as like a war crime, chemical warfare, bring his ass to Geneva, have him fucking charged up in some fucking international court and fucking hung. No, I'm sorry. Once you, once you like purposely break a quarantine, no, I'm sorry. If you, if like you are sick and you get someone sick on accident, fine. But him and the, and the, the female who went to France who purposely broke quarantine. Uh, no, I'm sorry. If anyone gets sick and or dies from you, more than intentional murder. Like this is murder with prejudice, whatever the highest thing I, you can be charged with needs to be charged with as little given to your defense as possible. Yeah, he knew. He fucking knew. The funny thing, TikToks, is there is a, uh, the CDC has a picture. The CDC has a picture of all the virus locations. Uh, and, and how how like big they are and they're representing it with circles and it looks like the Plague Inc. video game. So the internet was having a field day with that one because that's what the Wuhan virus is, is it's just God is playing Plague Inc. and we're all going to die. Um, some people were actually judging it uh, because it, it had killed someone because it was already lethal or whatever. So some of the people making fun of it on the internet were like, treating it like it was a noob player. Like, oh no, you don't evolve lethality yet. You have to infect at least half the world before you get lethality. God, what an idiot. <laughs> like people were judging the virus based upon Plague Inc rules <laughs> because what kind of idiot evolves lethality this early in the run? <laughs> and the internet being the internet has taken to calling it the Kung Flu, which I agree with. And I think this is a funny name. So everyone else just calls it the coronavirus which I don't agree with. It is a coronavirus. I'm not saying that, that it's it's an incorrect term. It is a correct term, but it's just like a little too little. Like that's a family of viruses. That, that That's like saying it's fucking stain purple or stain positive. Oh, what's the name of this virus? You know, the stain positive virus. That doesn't do anything. So Wuhan virus, the Kung flu. <laughs> Anything's better than coronavirus. I hate that. Corona Chan. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. Because <laughs> it's the internet and you can't ever not loot the virus. <laughs> what are we going to do today? We've got to loot the virus. A 
like the something one, please. So the funny thing is though, um, so China wasted time and effort getting angry at like Denmark, I wanna say? Denmark or Norway or someone, I can't remember. Um, because a comic artist there had done a comic that had the Chinese flag and instead of the symbols, it was like little germ balls. And China was like, that's offensive. Take that down now. And I think the country basically manned up and was like, no. <laughs> Why do we take it down? Well, it's offensive. It's a Chinese flag and it's viruses. You're China and you have viruses. <laughs> I just had a Buffalo Crispy Chicken Burger, delish. Oh no, no, why would you have Crispy Chicken Burger? I'm on you, but why would you have a Buffalo Crispy? Doesn't Buffalo mean it's covered in that sauce? Like I like chicken wings. I like when they put on the sauces, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. I, I, I like, it's never one of the top things of chicken I wanna eat. If I'm gonna have a crispy chicken, it's gonna be like the only sauce on it's gonna be ketchup. If it's a crispy chicken. But yeah, no, uh, February 27th. So end of this month is uh, PAX East. Yeah, February 27th to March 1st. Uh, they put out schedules and I don't remember anything super major on Thursday. Nothing that screams out to me is something that I definitely need to be there for. So I might miss Thursday because I do have school and I have school late on Thursdays. So I'm probably going to, even though I have a ticket, I'm probably gonna end up missing Thursday. At least the beginning of it, just so I can do my classes. You know what? I, I tried to avoid exactly what just happened there. I tried to be very careful and make sure this guy wouldn't get himself locked up and he got himself locked up anyways. Goodness, it came up fast. There's no other crispy chicken option at that restaurant. It's either that or a McChicken, really. KFC doesn't deliver yet. Um, KFC doesn't deliver, but have you seen if like Uber Eats or someone will deliver to KFC for you? Subway doesn't deliver, but I get it Subway occasionally through Uber Eats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, when does it start? It starts at 10 a.m. Thursday. Gee, Jesus Christ. And I don't see anything that screams out to me as something I'm caring about. It's not early on. My class gets out at like around eight. So anything before that, I'm probably gonna be missing. Which is annoying, because they, they do have things like Geek Jeopardy, but like nothing super major. I am assuming you are going to be a uh, fuzzy headed paint man. Um, Bob Ross. <laughs> Everyone remembers fuzzy headed paint man. Don't tell me you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the inhale? Boy. <laughs> that's that that's exactly my point. That that's the point I'm getting to. We have until the end of the month for this shit to blow over or we're all going to die. <laughs> We, we have until the end of the month for the Kung Flu virus to like blow over or we're all going to die. Yeah. Don't worry, just ignore all the people who are coughing as they grab your markers, Mr. Fuzzy Headed Paint Man. I just really like the one time that you had that poor, poor mother or grandmother convinced that you were Bob Ross. Oh, my son's been waiting to see you. 
He just loves you. You do great work. What? <laughs> I hope I don't die. Or no, 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 no. Even worse. Because the, 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 here's what's going to happen. I'm calling this shit now, TikToks. You, you better, like, if it's still going, you better be glued to my side. Because the fevers and shit get so bad, they cause you to drop and, like, just start seizing till you die. Like, it cooks your brain. The, the Kung Flu virus does. So what's going to happen is someone's going to take a picture, you're going to drop, and they're going to think you have the Kung Flu virus. Like, it's not even going to be like, you hope you don't die. It's you hope you don't get kidnapped and quarantined. Because <laughs> of this still going then, they're going to kidnap you. <laughs> but don't worry, though. It's not like there have been any cases in Boston. Oh, wait. The dude just this morning decided to spread it to everyone. Like I said, the worst thing is, too, is that's like a two-week incubation period. So if they can't find the people, it might be two weeks from now before we see secondary infection from that dude. Yeah, no one ever believes me when I say I'm not dying. Yeah, so death by fever. Yeah, there are a bunch of videos that come... This is what I love, all right? So China says one thing. China says it doesn't spread human to human. And then someone leaks a video from China of China wearing, like, fucking zombie infection level protection gear. And then the internet goes, or the world goes, um, excuse me, if it doesn't do person to person, why are your people so freaked out? And then China's like, oh, don't worry about that. Nothing's happening. Numbers are low. Doesn't spread. But then a video releases of, like, nurses and doctors at these hospitals in China losing their damn mind because they have been slammed with so many people and in China being like, Oh, don't worry. That's just, you know, because people are overreacting. No one's sick or dying. Only like 20 people have died. And then yet again, someone releases a video from one of their hospitals and it just shows the floors covered in dead people that have had fucking things placed on them because nobody wanted to touch them once they had died. So they're just dead on the ground, but don't worry. They died there, but it just happens it was during the Kung Flu. They weren't confirmed Kung Flu victims because they're dead now, so they just died of natural causes. So we don't know what the numbers are. Yay, China. Don't worry. We've got this contained. We quarantined 16 million people because it's not infectious. Oh, wait. For some reason, we've quarantined 23 million people. Oh, wait. For some reason, we quarantined 38 million people. Oh, wait. For some reason, we've now quarantined 5050 million people. BT Dubs, it's also already left our country and infected a bunch of other countries. Go take care of that shit. <laughs> My God. Go fuck yourself. Every time they said something, it wasn't long before a video surfaced proving the exact opposite. They are kung, they kung, they are kung fu fighters. <laughs> they pumped China Black Death came from it. But so, but here's the thing that kills me. So they suspected uh, that this came from a bird or a fish, but now they don't think it came from a bird or a fish. Conspiracy theory, admittedly, there's. <laughs> I forgot about this fact until just now. I am not backing this up. I think I genuinely think this just happens to be a coincidence, but it's pretty fucking funny. There is a virus research facility that was created in Wuhan in response to the SARS virus or near Wuhan in response to the SARS virus, which was the same family of viruses as this new one. And Corona you can mix the letters around in Corona and it spells raccoon. The viral facility that popped up near Wuhan related to coronaviruses uses the umbrella company logo, except instead of red, it's green. So some people are saying that it's not an accident. 
It's a bioterrorist attack, and they're testing to see how far it spreads. I think that that's just a happy coincidence, just a happy little mistake. <laughs> you have to admit, that's a fucking funny one. Hold on, hold on. Let me load up that image. Uh, Corona virus lab in China. This one doesn't have the internet, that's right. Hold on. It is, so yeah, Corona raccoon and then the symbol. Someone could find this, like link it or something. Uh, Wuhan virus facility? Let's see if I can find this image. This facility logo. No, I'll uh, change from Wuhan to Corona. Show me China virus facility logo. I don't know what I need to be looking up right now to get this to, to pop. Did this get locked? Uh, I'm telling you guys, it's it's the fucking. What if I say is umbrella? China's virus facility is umbrella. Don't give me the actual umbrella. Give me theirs. Where's the green one? Not the Medcare skin facility. Here we go. I just want this image. I just want this image. Copy. Or actually, hold on. I have, I have display capture, right? Just real quick. Tell me that. <laughs> if you were red blue if you were red green color blind you would think that's the same logo <laughs> like <laughs> fucking this is not a good time to be that company <laughs> it's I, I if if you couldn't see it because you're on Xbox or whatever just just trust me trust me it is the umbrella city <laughs> It's the umbrella logo, but instead of red, it's a slightly off green. So basically the type of green that would get confused with red for red, green, colorblind people. I, I, I swear it's basically, this. <laughs> it's just the umbrella logo. And the reason why it possibly being confused in red, green, colorblind makes me giggle is I can't help but imagine that they wanted the umbrella logo red and all with the dude painting it with colorblind. Like that would just bring all this together. Is that there was a document where they were like, it was supposed to be red, but the dude got the wrong color. But it's just, it's just the umbrella logo. Who does a virus facility? And it's like, you know what? Whenever I Google viruses, I get this weird umbrella logo. Why don't we just use that one? We'll change one of the colors. Make it look like we're not copying the homework. <laughs> oh my God. He's stupid. So yeah, so Raccoon becomes Corona. The There is a viral research facility like right next door. It's like 20 miles, so it's not right next door, but it's right next door. Um, uh, that that has the umbrella logo, Corona Raccoon. And it makes you start seizing. It's a, it's, it's a two week incubation period, but it gives you fever that's so bad you, you can just pass out while standing up and start seizing on the ground. I'm not saying it's a proto zombie virus. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, no, no, no. That was another thing too. That was making China angry. People weren't calling him Winnie the Pooh. People were calling him Winnie the Flu. That was making people angry too. Oh, 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 oh. Slightly unre... Slightly unrelated. Um, I've started being, I, I've started having enough subscribers and viewers on the YouTube. So I can see my actual metrics, i.e. 
Who watches me from where? And I want you guys to be surprised, but on YouTube, my viewership is 100% males between the age of 18 and 34. Or no, 44. I was as surprised as you were. Surprised Pikachu face. 88% of that was males ages 25 to 34. Boom. Now how you can beat that 975 record just start at a later date. <laughs> Coronavirus raccoon city when you switch letters. Oh, is this just one article that has all of it together? Yeah. <laughs> like it's the same symbol. <laughs> you stupid. Stupid bastards. I have to get back to some of my um my old playlists as well on YouTube. Not that Dwarf Fortress hasn't been doing good. I still just owe it to, if nothing else, like see due diligence to the other two playlists. But Dwarf Fortress... My Dwarf Fortress playlist on YouTube, um, I think I'm up over 250 subs on YouTube right now. And I did Dwarf Fortress over the course of January. And in January, I got 48. So one fifth of my subscribership on YouTube was basically from Dwarf Fortress videos at one a week. So I think there might be a market for Dwarf Fortress on YouTube. I probably counted me multiple times because I always get distracted. No, no, no. It does it by unique accounts. Like, in order to get those numbers, like I said, it's off the subscriber numbers. At least as far as I'm aware, it's off the subscriber numbers. So it's not what you get distracted on. It's whoever... I don't know. No. Yes. Don't you know me? But I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, we're all tired of watching Quill 18, and I think you were talking about... I forget his name. I like some of his videos, but why is it always stories? And or hand drawing. He seems to be doing pretty decent with himself. You'd think he would, like, hire someone to do slightly better drawings. Not that his drawings are bad and don't have their, their, their own charm, but... You'd think you'd try to... Prove the quality over time. Ah, uh, there's no mic this season. Karen laughing about this virus. We like his bad drawings, rude. But some, hey, they're they're not bad drawings. I mean, when I was doing my alerts, I I literally had to go to a sprite sheet. I can't draw. I am not one to judge someone on drawing. But my statement was from the first to the end. If they're kind of like the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Like if I, as I get more and more successful, I, I reinvest time and effort into the streaming and the recording. That's what I was saying It's just like, does maybe I'm blind, but I just wasn't seeing much growth in it. Truck smash. That's his name. Yeah, I can't call anyone's drawings bad. If I were to try to draw the same things, it would look like the world's worst stick figures. My last Dwarf Fortress video, I had to visually represent what a Z level was. I used MS Paint and I did squares and lines. Squares, lines, and one circle. <laughs> I'm not judging anyone on their artistic ability. What I'm talking about though is the production level from beginning to end. I just don't understand why it hasn't improved. He made Fort and Long Night and drew it. It was epic. Uh, is Long Night the post-apocalyptic like zombie mod? Like you could have multiple races in your fort? Boat murder. What about boat murder? Quill 18 wasn't boat murder. Mm -mm 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 
mm, 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 mm. Yeah, footer? Yeah, cybernetic zombies and shit. Gotcha. Mm, do, do, do. I, I, I half remembered what that was. Come on, just build the wall. All right, that wall is built. We can start deconstructing and we can start chasing our way around the lip. If nothing else, we've done pretty decently. Like if this was a straight thing, we could just channel all of that out. Really the progress, like the inner part is just to save us time and effort. The progress we're making is this outer wall. This is what we're needing to like get really down. He'll play Fext Race. I don't know what that means. He play, oh, he plays as the Fext Race. Gotcha. Do, do, do. I might at some point have to start doing like would you consider like a playthrough of Dwarf Fortress a let's play like what is this this isn't a let's play right because I, I can't really plan plan can you let's play a game that's random so maybe I'm wrong but I was I always treat let's plays as like uh, this is how you play Yes, yes, what? What this? <laughs> are you asking me what this or are you saying what this? Like as a, as a sarcastic thing is like, would I would I would you call it a let's play? I don't know if you were a viewer making a sarcastic joke or asking a genuine question. Damn it, that came out as a wall. No construction floor. I played in game with the last 50 dwarves in the world. Well, I think whenever you play it generates you minimum two migration waves worth. I think you made them. Goal to rebuild. Yes. Um, I'm going to treat it as a question then go demon Lord Nim, but this is Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> And I was wanting to know what this game is. So if you watch TikToks, that means you know what RimWorld is. They are drastically different. Making a straight comparison between the two is not fair. Disclaimer. Now that we've handled the disclaimer, Dwarf Fortress is a more micro, no, macro, micro. There's more dwarves, so macro more macro intensive version that of Rimworld that covers multiple Z levels. You can't send your people out in the world and micro them there, but you can interact with a much larger world. I think that made sense. It's hard to do a description between the two games, even though they're both somehow basically the same genre. So rather like in Rimworld, you are not in direct control of people, but you are in control of what you want them to get done and then they do it. And by more macro and less micro, I mean like I don't have to tell my dude to keep hunting. I don't have to say keep doing this one thing there. It's very meticulous about weird calculations, rain, water pressure, uh, thermal resistance of materials, sharpness, density, like there's a whole bunch of calculations that go into a bunch of it. It's it's a more detailed version of RimWorld, 
that's less heavy on the micro. Still a bad description, but it's the closest I think I'm going to get. Thank you for the host, Demon Lord Nim. Um, if you are wanting, you can get dwarfed by typing an exclamation mark dwarf, D-W-A-R-F, or exclamation mark dwarf, D-O-R-F. And I can name one of the dwarves after you. For this particular base, we are building a three-dimensional Triforce. Which technically means we're going to end up with a quad force because three sides showing a three, you're going to have to have a fourth one in there somewhere. Um, we're building a three dimensional Triforce and the end, like the gap in the middle of the Triforce, we are actually digging down through an aquifer to bring this to the bottom of the map uh, to where the lava and or super happy fun time circus is. What we're going to do there Admittedly, I'm not 100% sure. But that's kind of like our goal right now. You know, when I just do both the screw pumps now, I might as well. Build construction wall. Caps lock is on? No, there we go. I don't know why that was responding so slow. And I'm going to cancel the corner one so that they have a chance to get out. Build construction wall. There we go. Um, I was wondering what this game is. Yeah, have touched adventure yet. I have occasionally played adventure mode in this, but I would be lying if I didn't say that over 98% of my time playing this game is fortress mode. It's the mode I prefer. If you are wanting to see someone do adventure mode though, we do have Steven Robert, who I still believe is in chat. Um, he does adventure mode door fortress. When did I shout him out? I'm trying to hit up just to get back to it. I know I shouted him out, I'm not crazy. Dwarf kill, any chart, shout out TikToks, anything else. I shouted him out. I must've shouted him out in the chat bot, not the OBS. Shout out. Steven Robert for There you go. There you go. Sanctum Spirit Stone. Better than I ever could have. Dwarf Fortress is a world simulation. Rimworld is a scenario AI. Uh, is a scenario simulation with AI driving the events. <laughs> Now, we do have a couple of things that are completed. So while I'm focusing on this, the rest of the base has kind of mostly been done. We have housing, we have food, we have booze, we have a tavern, a temple, and a library. Our drinks are going again. Hold on. We had an issue earlier with these. Plump helmets. Can't brew strawberry plants? No, because you brew strawberries and they've probably been brewed. That's not going to go with there. Can you eat strawberry plants? I'm going to say don't cook the plants. See if people eat them. Um, and don't cook the strawberry wine. No. Uh, hold on. Not a lot of cooking and tallow. Fantastic. All right. Our, our systems are still keeping themselves going strong. And really, this is just uh, we are discussing different world events while slowly but surely doing the dwarfiest projects we can and digging through the realm. I mean, if I'm being honest, <laughs> it takes a long time to do these type of things, unfortunately. We do, however, happen to have a vampire who is eating all the dwarves. So that's always something to enjoy, seeing whether or not you get to be the next one dead and or are you in fact the vampire? I found the vampire before and locked him down, but there was a discrepancy between the dwarf name sorting program and the name in the game. 
So I assumed that I had the wrong guy, and it turns out that the vampires lie to you. So I literally got out bluffed by the vampire in this game. Bear Grylls going for dwarf number four. I don't know why it was that quiet. Bear Grylls, one, two, three, four. Bear Grylls, you are a bowyer. The cats have had kittens. You make our crossbows. I'm not making many crossbows right now, but maybe, just maybe, this will keep you alive from the vampire. What do I actually have you as? You are as a bowyer. All right, you're a bowyer. I thought it was weird. I didn't think I'd have someone who's a bowyer. But I suppose I do. And also, uh, for Demon Lord Dam and any other viewers, uh, that same command, at least, very least right now, uh, is also a check to see if you're still alive. If you don't have a dwarf, it gives you a dwarf. It rolls a random number generator and it gives you a dwarf. If you are still alive, it sends you a whisper letting you know that you are in fact still alive. So what I am doing here is as I am slowly trying to get around to doing this, all of this dirt is an aquifer. It will release water orthogonally um, up, down, left, and right, and onesie level down directly below it. I am digging into it and then digging out the walls and replacing them with constructed wood because that will prevent the water from coming through. I am using two screw pumps powered by a physics, a glitch powered physics battery over here to constantly be pumping 24 seven. So my dwarves can get in there, mine it out and then place the walls up. The water is coming out of that part of the aquifer down this chute into another part of the aquifer. And since that part of the aquifer has all the water in it and unlimited pressure, it can absorb unlimited pressure as well. So I can take the water from this part of the aquifer, dump it in that part of the aquifer and we're good. Before the pumps are running though, I also have this dry, uh, this dry path that leads to another aquifer that's a Z level down. Aquifers can't pressure up on their own. So this is actually a very safe, a very safe if slow way to make sure that the dwarves are able to get in and not drown no matter what. The two screw pumps cannot pump up a dwarf. They can only do liquids. That's kind of what we're dealing with there. Up above, I'm slowly bringing up the wall surrounding the base in a pyramid-like fashion, but bringing it, bringing it up following the math that I had to... Hold on. Build construction wall. I think that's the floor. Um, I am also bringing it up in the same manner that the triangles are down here. So if you look down here, because I wanted it to look like a Triforce from a Dwarf Fortress perspective and look like a Triforce uh, from a standing perspective, which means it needs to be done as an equilateral triangle. So down here, in order to pull off an equilateral triangle, it is not as high as it is wide. That's just, you're not doing that with squares. It's not going to work. So it's a pattern of two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two. Basically two, two, one, except you're halfway through the pattern on the bottom. And not only does this make all of these triangles be equilateral triangles, but it provide the exact spacing so that with equal spacing between them, together they form one gigantic equilateral triangle that was contained in a dry moat that in and of itself is an equilateral triangle. So going up ahead, we have to do the same thing. So it's two, two of three wide. So two, two, then it needs to go in one. Then it needs to go in one again, but we don't have the second layer of this yet. And this one will be too high at this uh, this width where the wall will be the same up above it as well. And then we'll bring it in and then again and then again. Hopefully so that in the 3D visualizer Armok vision, when I load it up and we look at the side of it, it will still look like a Triforce uh, from all three sides of the triangular prism 
which like I said, oddly enough, would mean it is no longer a Triforce because there will be four triangles. Three on the bottom row, supporting the fourth one on top, but from any individual view, it would still look like a Triforce. Unfortunately, the Triforce is a two-dimensional object in the game. And I'm trying to make it three dimensionals. Dwarf cannot be pumped up. No swode here. No swode dwarf here. Oh, and also China's gonna kill us all with the virus. That's the other thing we're doing today. We're discussing how China is going to kill us all with a virus. And whether or not they uh, look to Resident Evil like it was a blueprint of what to do <laughs> and not just the fantastic action horror game it is. Why is he carrying a dead body? Where did you get a dead body from? Why are you just carrying a dead dwarf? Who is this? Is this someone I know? Why do you have a dead body? Did we declare a dead body recently? So two cats yelling is dead. Um, did I miss that alert? Anything else was found dead. How are we hauling a dead body, but no one called it out as being dead? Two cats, two cats, you're dead. Yeah, two cats is dead. Uh, two cats yelling. That's really weird. How are you going to haul a body, but I not get a has died alert? Search two. Nothing in recent announcements for two cats yelling being dead, but we did have a recent announcement for that dude being found drowned or whatever. And I think, yeah, anything else got buried. Is this gust of air? Do we think gust of air is alive? Well, this wouldn't show, would it? Because I recently reread. Or is this a new gust of air? This is a new gust of air. So is this... Where do we just... Now you find him dead? Wait, what? But you're reporting him in the bedroom. So they hauled and then found him? I'm so confused. So I'm on the phone. Can you post the link to the guy? Glorifier21, thank you so much for following. Thank you so much. I animated that myself. From a sprite sheet? I didn't draw it myself, but I animated that shit myself. That's why it looks rusty. <laughs> thank you so much for following. I'm on the phone. Can you post the link to the guy? What link to a guy? Steven Robert 4? I'll shout out Steven. I'll shout out Steven again if that's what you're saying. Vamp ate him and then dropped him into bed. But like, we didn't get the alert until like way after he was already found. Like way, way after he was already found. Then they were like, oh, BT dubs. This man, he's dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see. Yeah, that guy. Steven Robert four. Like I said, he's, he's more, he's more hands-on and gung-ho with the, uh, the adventure mode. Definitely knows a hell of a lot more about that mode than I do. He had a video series he's doing at one point where he's actually discussing like Dwarf Fortress adventure mode, fucking martial arts. Like if you grab this arm and leverage this, it pull and like it flips the sky in this direction. Like he was, he was actually talking about like how to fight instead of just, you know, spamming the fucking punch him button. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's settled. Nothing more refreshing than drinking essentially dehydrated grainy apples because the sour powder is malic acid, which is why sour apples are sour. So it's dehydrated granny apples. I've spiced my water with dehydrated granny apples. That bad beard don't want to cuss? What? Get real food and drinks. No. I ate before the stream. I do this for flavor. Don't eat random science things. But eating random science things is good. It's called gastronomy. It's, I legit think that's what it's called. The, the like weird science cooking. No, that's not quite it, but yes. I think it's gastronomy. There's like, I forget the term, but like the people come up with like, oh, if you put the food in this chemical, it creates bubbles and then you could cook the bubbles and then pop the bubble and it makes it, sorry, sorry, it. fucking weird chemistry nonsense with cooking. For science! You must do it for science. Because if the science gets done... <laughs> if the science gets done... You'll have a knee gun. For those of us who are still alive. I'm trying to do a freaking GLaDOS quote with a turret voice. It's not going to work. Please forgive me. I'm different. Are you still there? It's a little high, isn't it? Are you still there? I see you. I see you. It's not robotic enough. I see you. Whatever, I'm getting distracted fucking around with the fucking robot setting again. I swear every time I fuck around with it, it gets worse and worse. We had it like perfecto that first day. Right, and now it always just sounds slightly off to me. Welcome to the stream, everybody. If any of you have any questions, feel free to ask. Even if it's about your base. We are here to educate, as well as entertain. And sometimes even troubleshoot. Though to be fair, it is Dwarf Fortress. I can't guarantee I can help you with the troubleshooting. <laughs> sometimes there's just not much that can be done. There's not much that can be done over a stream with Dwarf Fortress. It's just not going to happen. All right, ooh. Technically a bad idea. I don't want to dig, I want to channel. Come back. There we go. Which would have been the same as dig, except for the other pump works. I just dug it wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, no, before the stream, I had uh, pork belly ramen and three little mochi ice cream balls because necessary. Because necessary. Oh shit, we passed the hour marker, didn't we? 